Hello viewers, it's Matt and welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't already tried this AI out, you seriously are missing out. This AI, which is known as 15AI, I'll link it down below, it's completely free to use, is a text to audio generator. So you type something in and it generates your audio based on your text uh, in whatever character you want. And there's a bunch of different characters to choose from. This AI, 15AI, actually came out quite some time ago. It was popular, I think it was over a year ago. It might have even been two years ago now, but it is extremely impressive. It's super powerful and it just absolutely gets it done. It is uh, very impressive stuff. It can generate almost perfect audio sometimes and the best part is it's completely free for you guys to mess around with and check out and it's also very snappy and quick it used to be a lot worse and it used to be a lot slower but you know i haven't checked up on it in a while and after checking up on it i have to say it is just mega impressive it's it's just so much fun so yeah you guys seriously need to check this one out and that's why I'm making a video about this. Also, this video is pre-recorded. Uh, when you're watching this video, it will be the week after I recorded it. So as you guys can see, we've got a few different options here. And under source, we can pick from a number of different franchises. We've got Portal, of course, which is the popular video game. If you guys haven't played Portal, what are you doing with your life? It's easy to run. It runs on literally everything. One of the best games I've ever played, bar none, seriously, you guys gotta play Portal. I know that's not news to a lot of you, but it's seriously good. Uh, they've got My Little Pony, uh, everyone knows what My Little Pony is. I'm sure a few of you viewers have filled some jars up before. We've got Spongebob Squarepants, Honey Pop, which I don't, I don't really know what Honey Pop is, but I've heard of it. Daria, I have no idea what that is. Aqua Teen Hunger Force, no idea. Team Fortress 2, of course. I mean, another pretty good game. I, I haven't played as much Team Fortress 2 as Portal, but been around forever. Persona 4, which I've heard of. People are probably gonna be mad. I don't know all this stuff. Steven Universe, of course, the Cartoon Network show. Dan Versus, which is hilarious. Stanley Parable, even funnier. Another very good game you guys should check out. 2001 A Space Odyssey, a, a famous sci-fi movie. Equestria Girls, which I've heard of. No idea what it is. Guys, I know what Doctor Who is. For those of you who are gonna be angry if I don't know what Doctor Who is. I, I know what that one is. And Undertale, which is I think more of a meme on the website in general, but we're going to run through a bunch of these voices today and mess around with them, uh, starting with GLaDOS from Portal. And GLaDOS from Portal is an evil AI character similar to me. I could be an AI-generated YouTuber. You guys really won't know. All this time, I've been showing you guys AI projects when, really, I was the main AI project demonstration all along. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we can select from different uh, characters in Portal, starting with GLaDOS, of course, the evil AI, Wheatley, which is a less evil AI, Sentry Turret, which is barely an AI, and Shell. But we'll probably just go over GLaDOS and Wheatley today because they're probably the most fun. So we'll just do a little sample text here and we will see how long it takes to generate. Again, this used to take like minutes to generate. It is way faster now. And you get three variations, which is pretty good. And it even does a prediction of the emotional characteristics, the contextualizers here. So we've got angry, rage, expressionless, triumph, and uh, sweat smile apparently are the three or the five different emotional contextualizers. And it even gives you a, a confidence rating for each that you generate. And it shows you, you know, whether or not the words are found in the lexicon. So let's take a little listen to the different results. Hey guys, how many times do I have to tell you to stop stealing all of my ice cream? You know it is the only thing that keeps me sane through these times. Hey guys, how many times do I have to tell you to stop stealing all of my ice cream? You know it is the only thing that keeps me sane through these times. Okay, that second one was pretty darn good, I have to say. I think the first one was a little bit worse than the second one. Let's take a listen to the third one. Hey guys, how many times do I have to tell you to stop stealing all of my ice cream? You know it is the only thing that keeps me sane through these times. Interesting. I like the last one the best. You guys can tell me what you think in the comments, but this uh, alignment confidence thinks that this top one is the best one. I really like this bottom one here. I, it is just my favorite for sure. It sounds the most like GLaDOS from the game if you guys have ever played it. Wheatley is now gonna fire back at GLaDOS and we will click the generate button. By the way, how long did this last one take to generate? This took only 13 seconds to generate the last one, so we'll see how long it takes to do this one, but yeah, it is pretty fast, enough to just play around with and have fun with. Okay, that one completed very quickly. That was only seven seconds. Uh, yeah, let's see. The alignment confidence is actually much lower right now for Wheatley. Sorry, Gladys. Listen, that ice cream was actually mine. I know that might be difficult for your stupid little robot brain to understand, but I pay for it with my own money. Wow, okay, so this is very angry. It doesn't exactly sound like Wheatley if you've ever played Portal. 
Uh, Wheatley doesn't talk that fast. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Sorry, Dilavis. Listen, the ice cream was actually mine. I know that might be difficult for your stupid little robot brain to understand, but I paid for it with my own money. Okay, not as good again. Sorry, Galadus. Listen, the ice cream was actually mine. I know that might be difficult for your stupid little robot brain to understand, but I paid for it with my own money. I mean, you could definitely hear the Wheatley voice in there, but it is not nearly as good as GLaDOS. GLaDOS is almost a flawless representation of the voice. Still, nonetheless, fun to mess around with. So we'll do a little Mind Little Pony one right now. I've never watched this show. Anyways, let's give uh, this one a Steve Jobs quote to read. Apparently, this is a Steve Jobs quote. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. I'll give it a generate here. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Wow, that is so shockingly good. Oh my god. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Wow, that's almost flawless there. Like, I would not be able to tell if that was a person or not. I'd be like, did someone say that? That's how good that is. That's, that is really quite good. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Wow, that's crazy how it, like, did the thing at the end. Like, it prepared itself for, like, the next thing it was going to say. That is crazy to me. GLaDOS is already a robot, so, like, it's probably going to sound good, but that sounds like a person saying it, you know what I'm saying? Wow, it's shocking right there. Let's give SpongeBob a shot. All right, we'll give SpongeBob a little, uh, dark quote to read or a dark joke to read. I was digging in our garden and found a chest full of gold coins. I wanted to run straight home and tell my wife about it, and then I remembered why I was digging in our garden in the first place. And here we go, we got some Spongebob, I guess the contextualized expressionless, neutral face, flushed, confused, and confounded. Pretty high, uh, confidence here. I was digging in our garden and found a chest full of gold coins. I wanted to run straight home to tell my wife about it. Then I remembered why I was digging in our garden. <laughs> oh man, that is way too good. <laughs> Spongebob reading off a dark joke is just... Screwed up, man. All right, let's listen to this one. I was digging in our garden and found a chest full of gold coins. I wanted to run straight home to tell my wife about it. Then I remembered why I was digging in our garden. <laughs> okay, that one's not as good as the first one. Still pretty funny. I was digging in our garden and found a chest full of gold coins. I wanted to run straight home to tell my wife about it. Then I remembered why I was digging in our garden. <laughs> okay, the last one might be the best. It's between the last one and the first one, but they're all pretty darn good. It definitely sounds like Spongebob, no doubt about it. It isn't perfect because Spongebob's voice is just very hard to mimic, I think. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty darn good and pretty darn impressive, I have to say. And this one did uh, only in seven seconds. Unfortunately, we don't have like Squidward or Mr. Krabs or anyone from, from Spongebob. We just have Spongebob, but Spongebob's pretty good. I'm sure there's other... Uh, AI voice changers out there that can do Squidward and such. You actually want to know how I know that? There is an entire YouTube channel that is basically based on recreating like SpongeBob raps and stuff. Like they make their own raps, in it, but it's like SpongeBob and Squidward and Mr. Krabs rapping them all using AI voices. Uh, so yeah, you guys might actually be interested in checking these out. But yeah, these are like AI rap songs with SpongeBob. You can literally hear Squidward here. So there must be some Squidward AI. Yeah, I can't imagine how long it takes to generate all this AI text and stuff and get it sounding good. But yeah, there's definitely a Squidward out there somewhere on some other website, and by God, I'll track it down. All right, getting back to it here. What is Honey Pop? Okay, this is like an anime of some form. Here, we'll do another dark joke because this seems like a character that isn't very uh, dark. I have to change the word uh, from the G word to firearm because of YouTube. Don't want to get demonetized. The doctor gave me a year to live, so I shot him with my firearm. The judge gave me 15 years. Problem solved. All right, yeah, I assume this character is not like a very serious dark character, so this is probably going to sound pretty funny. Okay, let's give it a listen. The doctor gave me one year to live, so I shot him with my firearm. The judge gave me 15 years. Problem solved. <laughs> I have no idea who that character is, but it sounded like it got a f most of the words right. The doctor gave me one year to live, so I shot him with my firearm. The judge gave me 15 years. Problem solved. Pretty good. The doctor gave me one year to live, so I shot him with my firearm. The judge gave me 15 years. Problem solved. <laughs> okay yeah that's pretty funny okay we can imagine what this character right here must sound like even though i have no idea what aqua teen hunger force is sorry to all you fans of that specific show 
I am just on the dark joke trend here. This is just from like a, a random website. My grandfather said generation relies too much on the latest technology, so I unplugged his life support. All right, let's give it a generate here with this guy. I like that it got the skull in there. My grandfather said my generation relies too much on the latest technology, so I unplugged his life support. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I have no idea what this character is supposed to sound like. My grandfather said my generation relies too much on the latest technology, so I unplugged his life support. It sounds like it's doing a pretty good job, though. The, the confidence is pretty high. So they have a ton of different stuff from Team Fortress 2. We've got Heavy, though. Obviously, I gotta give Heavy a shot. Do you think this is something that Heavy would actually say? They laughed at my crayon drawing. I laughed at their chalk outline. Wow. Okay, we got the skull in there again. Wow, this confidence is super high, 84%. Let's give it a listen. They laughed at my crayon drawing. I laughed at their chalk outline. Okay, kind of close there. He's, he's just screaming angry. They laughed at my crayon drawing. I laughed at their chalk outline. Wow, that second one was darn good. Wow, okay, I gotta take, th I gotta listen to that again. They laughed at my crayon drawing, I laughed at their chalk outline. Wow, okay, that is crazy good. Oh, man. They laughed at my crayon drawing, I laughed at their chalk outline. Okay, so this, this last one's actually pretty decent too, but this middle one, really quite good, I gotta say. That is just crazy. I, I love this stuff, man. It is just so cool to see. Let's just do the Undertale one uh, to get it out of the way, guys. Um, I think this one is basically a, just a joke. I mean, yeah, the confidence is 100%. It's not that hard to recreate a, a Sans voice. There's no even contextualizers at all. Let's give Stanley Parable a shot here. We've got the narrator and Stanley. Here, this is actually something the narrator probably would say in the Stanley Parable. You're not completely useless. You can always be used as a bad example. You're not completely useless. You can always be used as a bad example. Okay, that's a little bit lacking emotion in there, but uh, in the end of the day, I think it's doing a pretty decent job. You're not completely useless. You can always be used as a bad example. Okay, that one's a little bit closer. That one's definitely a little bit closer. You're not completely useless. You can always be used as a bad example. Okay, yeah. Uh, this one's not as good as the others, but this middle one came out pretty decent, I have to say. And obviously, I think if you pick Stanley here, this is just basically a, a joke. Yeah, there's, there's no audio there because Stanley never says anything in the Stanley parable. And then we've got Dan from Dan Versus. All right, we'll give this a, a generate three Patrick quotes from SpongeBob. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Dan. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a little bit like him. It's doing a pretty dang good job, too, actually. That one's pretty good. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Dan. <laughs> the inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Dan. <laughs> he said it all in like one thing as if they were all supposed to be in the same sentence at the last part. Well, yeah, this is super impressive though. Completely free for you guys to try out. And yeah, I suggest going and have fun with it. I think my favorites were definitely GLaDOS, SpongeBob. Actually, let's, let's do a last one. Let's do Steven Universe. So yeah, we're going to do another dark quote here for uh, Steven Universe because that's just hilarious. I know a man who gave up smoking, drinking, and fast food. He was healthy right up until the day he killed himself. I hope I can say this word on YouTube. Probably not, but let's listen to Steven Universe say it. It's probably hilarious. Okay, this is actually high confidence too. Let's, let's give it a listen. I know a man who gave up smoking, drinking, and fast food. He was healthy right up to the day he killed himself. <laughs> oh, man. I know a man who gave up smoking, drinking, and fast food. He was healthy right up to the day he killed himself. <laughs> My God. It is so funny to hear Stephen Universe say I know say a man that. who gave up smoking, drinking, and fast food. He was healthy right up to the day he killed himself. Oh, my God. Ugh. YouTube, listen, it's nothing personal, all right? Gosh, I know you guys are strict. All right, that, that's hilarious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check this one out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.